Dunes Update Intuitive Message and Channeling Information. Hey guys, have, hope you're doing well. So, jumping on to do a quick um, intuitive informational message, and I did a, a some tarot poll, and I'm going to kind of go over that now. Recently, and this is going to go throughout June, um, a lot of shifting and changing energies, vibrations, maybe the feeling of being stuck, um, uncertainty. When you feel stuck, it's like you're in between. You're kind of not here and you're not there. And it's only because you don't have enough information. And it's what is it really that I'm wanting or what I'm doing or what am I experiencing and what is my path from here and to take the next step. And a lot of times we fear that. Um, but it's, it's the energy and vibration of feeling I'm not here, but I'm not here, which indicates that we're stuck somewhere. Um, and it's basically cause we don't have enough information to make that decision. And so what is the information that we're needing in order to make that decision? What is it that we're wanting to do? And that may just be, uh, doing some research, looking at something else. How does it feel getting in tune with your emotions, connecting with the divine consciousness and, you know, doing some inner work, inner healing. So really kind of depends on you, your situation and what you're feeling, you know, about it, which is going to take you in that direction if you're allowing yourself to connect with it. And so for me, um, a lot of things have changed um, very quickly out of the blue. Um, and so that change, although it was kind of understood, but at some point it was like, rather quickly <laughs> implemented um, and with that change comes a lot of things it's uncertainty the feelings of I'm not sure where am I going what am I doing losing your footing and so it can bring up things that you may um, not be aware of or you know putting you into fear doubts or um, and unsteadiness and concern you know as where everything just a moment ago was great and now it's kind of like I don't know. But in, in that, in, when I'm tuning into the energy too as well, I'm kind of feeling like there's no, there's no fear, at least in my situation, you know, and it's, I feel when I'm tuning in, I'm like, okay, is there anything that I need to be concerned about? No. Um, so it's not really about that, but it may be for you. Um, but it's really about tuning into yourself. And so when I tune into you know, my change in situation, because I'm working on manifesting things, I'm going to be expecting things to change and shift as I go. So if you allow yourself to uh, make those changes and shift with them and move forward without going into chaos, because uh, a lot of times we will automatically um, like panic or freak out, you know, and it's a reaction to a situation that maybe we weren't you were expecting but maybe weren't expecting and of course all of a sudden you know what you've been through or had or wherever it is that you are on the journey is now not not that and so you have that automatic reaction but what we want to get into is the practice of being present and so even in the midst of chaos if you can stand still and observe what's going on and stay connected to your true self without lashing out or responding in a way that maybe we don't want to and obviously there's going to be maybe some conditions or thoughts or belief systems behind it or realities that you know that's going to come up or display you know our anger or feelings or emotions or you know um could be judgments um so just being present with that and a lot of times that comes up um, in these situations so that we can experience them and see what that is, right? And so if we're able to just sit in the moment of all the chaos coming up, a lot of times what we don't see is that it's being removed for you for a reason, right? Because it's not doing you any good. It's not valuing you. It's not helping you. And it's maybe it's just time that you, you need to move into something else because you've evolved as much as you can where you are and so you need something else to move you through which is the ending of a situation and the beginning of a new one but through that chaos there's disruption right there's the shedding of stuff the emotions the feelings the uncertainties the um 
frustrations. And then if you get caught up on the mind, you know, you can go down a rabbit hole. <laughs> That's not going to be a positive one. And so if you can stay in the presence of it uh, for this month coming up, because there's going to be a lot of changing. You have your, you know, as you're going through the cycles of the year, you have your planting of the seeds and then the sprouting of them and then they're going to rise you know and then coming into the spring and summer and those are going to start showing up for you so whatever you've planted those seeds are going to be showing up and so with that being said um we want to kind of be still in what's okay what did i plant what seeds did i plant and change and manipulate it and you know mold it like clay like i've, I've talked about before in previous uh videos you know on these readings and so as we're doing that, <clears throat> um, you know, just follow your bliss, right? And try to monitor yourself, be observant in your awareness, not uh, automatically responding, but taking a moment and a breath in between each, each situation that arises for you. And in that breath, be like, okay, what do I need to say? What is it I, I need to know? What is it I need to experience? What is it I need to feel? And allow yourself to be there it doesn't mean dwell in it for like a year right and a lot of people put themselves into like a serious depression because of it instead of just being in the present moment and observing it okay and then allowing them to step out of it they keep and hold it like you know because of the uh, identity and the ego right and so we kind of follow that instead of tuning into our heart space in the presence of it and what it really is because beyond the Ego is the illusion of everything, and what what we might think or see actually isn't. It's something else. It's better, right? Because it's all for you. It's never against you. But the ego wants to see it, you know, as the wounded or the protective or the suffering um, aspects of it, right? And so you get to choose which one you're looking at. How am I going to look at the situation? Is it for my better good? Did I really want it anyway? Or is it something that's helping me or keeping me? from what it is that I want, or am I going to take the other choice and look at it as, you know, judgment, suffering, um, depression, you know, I'm lost, all these other things that your mind is going to come up with, right? And uh, from that perspective, right? And so what I've been experiencing a lot, um, and I, I, I go uh, a lot of times, I, I really connect with nature. And so, uh, what was it, last week, the the blackbirds came back and so I was like okay change is coming <laughs> and of course there it was uh, for me um, depending on the level of change I'll have like maybe a few uh, whether it's crows blackbirds or whatever um, it, uh, they'll, they're black birds right and so whatever comes in they're in like flocks right and so they are periodically and then the number of them also determines the uh, level of change and so I've had groups of birds from like maybe five all the way up to almost like a hundred that came like was right in my face right so usually they come when there's a, a big change coming like that um or just a small change in my life and so last week there was probably about 10 10 birds and then of course we had the change which came right away after that so they come in to warn me but then i have um the last few weeks the cardinals right and so the cardinals um, they represent a whole different energy, right? So for me, the blackbirds represent change. Uh, the cardinals represent life and change and abundance and success and positivity, good luck, um, and then strength and hope to keep going forward, right? And just to keep moving forward, right? And don't stop, don't look back and just be like, okay, you know, it is what it is. And although we may be freaking out, you know, depending on your situation, you know, has it been a relationship or a career or something else that's changed, you know, it's, of course, it's going to have an effect, you know, you got bills, you got children to feed, you got whatever situation that is arising, but it's there for change. And so at that point, we can then if we're present with ourselves, we can take action in the right way and make the right choices. But if we're in chaos in our mind and confusion and disoriented, it's hard to make those right decisions and it can take us off on a course that is going to be detriment, you know, to our path. And so with me, like all the cardinals have been coming in, I've been spending some time with cardinals hanging out around me um, just to remind me of that. And then they also have some other um, significance 
uh, to them. A lot of people will look at them as like a person who has passed over, right? And so it can be that. Um, but also the cardinals, um, it could be a divine intervention, right? And so divinely, even though you may not see it or aware of it, because we're in the illusion, the response, action to instead of presence, uh, we won't be able to see that it's a divine intervention. It's there for a reason to help us to navigate and move forward um, along the path versus to keep us back. It's us who keeps us back, right? And so looking at the cardinal and just using these signs uh, of communication and way of um, helping you to navigate the path, right? And so these are all signs and symbols that I've experienced and kind of learned you know, what is representation for me that my soul has put there to help me guide me along the path, kind of like breadcrumbs, right? And so it helps me stay on the path when I come into these experiences, right? And so it can be a divine intervention, um, the cardinals, um, in, in my understanding, right? It may not be for you, but it can be something else for you. But also, um, cardinals are very powerful. They're very strong. They will fight, Right, they have that fighting power, the warrior power, which I do. I've had and I've had past lives as a warrior, Native American warrior, and then a medicine man. But I've had a lot of um, warrior energy um, within me built up, so I have the ability to survive per se, um, and it gets me through those times. I can, you know, drop into that energy and pull that out, right, and and be contemplative and my next move, where am I going, strategic, you know, processing, awareness, and then meditation, go into meditation and connect with divine connection, ask the universe for signs and guidance to the next step, right? Always ask for guidance and help, right? Because we're never alone. We always have the ability for those who've passed over um, to help guide us, our angels, guides, masters, teachers, and loved ones. Um, they will all come in and help if you ask, right? And so we're never alone on the path, you know, even in our hardest times. And we just have to understand that, right? But it's hard to see that if we're disconnected in the illusion and the struggle, right? But And then we have the, um, the other energies that the cardinal brings in, which is dominant, right? So not only are they powerful and they have the warrior energy to fight and to keep going <laughs> amidst, the, you know, the situations or anything that arises. Um, they have the um, dominant side of them. So again, they'll fight and how they head on their um, situation. Because if you observe the um, cardinal energy and the cardinals, like whenever there are certain other factors going on, they will actually turn around and face their enemy or their problem or whoever's there that's going to um, come to them, right? And so they have that ability to uh, face off, you know, with that obstacle. And so that is an energy that the cardinals bring. And so it's like, face on your problems, right? Don't hide from them. Don't push them under the, you know, the, the carpets, don't, and just stay present with yourself, face, face what's coming up for you, you know, take a look at it, because it's something, whenever something comes up or arises, you know, it's, it's for you, right, and it can be the fact that you, you're shifting out of relationships, and that no longer serve you, or it could be simply, you know, your career isn't helping support you, even though it's financially, but it's, it's, drawing your energy, it's sucking and draining you <laughs> because it's not where you need to be, it's not helping you, or you've meet, met your full potential there and you need to move into something else so you can continue to grow because evolution is forever going on, right? And so to hold yourself in, in contempt of moving in evolution is suffering, right? And so you need to allow yourself to evolve and move into different things. And if you're not doing it willingly, the universe and source will bring it into um, where your guides uh, you know, without, without that, it, the universe will bring you because it knows that you need to evolve. And so to say that there isn't any um, intervention 
Um, it is because we're actually asking for it without really realizing it. So when we say like my my job is sucking me dry, you know, <laughs> things like that, you know, the universe is listening and it'll bring it to you to evolve out of it. But we may have forgotten that we've even said it or expressed it or felt it at one point because now everything is good until the next time something comes up and then you feel drained and sucked of your energy, drained. Um, and then it'll keep coming back up, right? And so whatever it is that you're playing out and rehearsing and, and practicing in your mind and your body and your thoughts is going to eventually show up. But we may have forgotten about it. And then all of a sudden we're like, oh, my God, I don't have my job, you know, and, or I don't have this relationship anymore. And what am I going to do? And then you're all freaking out. <laughs> but uh, we're actually creating these situations and the universe is just responding to us right and so it gives us those times in life to contemplate and look at it you know for ourselves and evolution right and so it's it's helping us it's not against us right and so if anything changes uh in june and um, because this this um this year is about um a lot more of changing and evolution upheaval uh, on a lot of levels different perspectives of things um, and if you see, a lot of things are actually being implemented change, um, like the new holidays that are coming out. And um, there's a lot of things that are being changed and you know, implemented um, on all different levels right now. And so if you're in a place that you're shifting now in June, because now is the time that things are going to change, so new things can bloom um, in the full summer um, as we're coming in and then before the winter, the ending, right? And so... Now is the things that things are changing and shifting for you to help you in evolution. But bringing in what it is that you want, and it's just you have to stay steady within this time, which is cardinal energy, right? And just stay steady and, and, and just be like, okay, I'm in the midst of change, not suffering, right? And so what am I going to do? What is my next step? What, what, am I, what do I want to do? What is my passion? Where am I? And just take a look at everything, you know, go in nature, meditate. Um, I would say drink a lot of water, eat healthy. This is when you implement more of your healthy behaviors versus turning to um, things that aren't healthy, right? Which a lot of people do, you know, you go to your, your doctor, you start taking drugs, you start drinking, <laughs> you know, instead of looking at, okay, what is happening here, right? What is just being with it, right, in the moment? And so change brings good things, right? And so even though if you're not feeling like it, um, I, would, I would recommend still doing, you know, certain things, right? And so get yourself up out of bed, you know, take your showers, do healthy behaviors, um, stay present, meditate, do yoga, go in nature, take walks, breathe, um, just be present, ask for guidance, you know, and that's pretty much what you would do and then just stay in tune wait for the guidance to come show up as inspiration maybe signs things like that work with the universal consciousness right and the way that it works for you right but you have to know how it works in order for it to work for you right and so if you don't know about manifesting learn about manifesting right what is it that you really want um, because when change comes it's new opportunities that are coming with it too, because it's an ending and then a new beginning. It's never a new beginning and then an ending, right? It's an ending and then new beginning. And so when there's an end and ending, what are you putting out there? Are you planting new seeds, right? It's like pulling out a root uh, that was planted before, but what seed are you gonna now plant in that place, right? And so it's really up to you how you're gonna view the viewpoints on that, right? And so, um, Pretty much that's what the cardinal energy is, and that's been kind of hanging out. And it's just stay, stay strong, stay with it. You know, look at the challenges that are coming ahead. Be present, move forward, um, abundance, right? And so just allow yourself to be with it. What else is coming? Um, because when we're kind of in the standstill of everything and we're not feeling like we're evolving, growing, or moving, like our soul will start speaking to us and be like, you know, this is not really where I want to be, you know, you'll start having these things arise within you um, that you can see, right, if you're paying attention. But if we're always drowning out, you know, our divine connection with who we are, our soul, our higher consciousness, our guides and things, 
um, by list constantly listening to music or having the TV on, TV on or watching movies or playing video games and we're not just sitting and being present, then we're going to miss it. And so with, with that being said, you know, for me, like even in the midst of this change, like I don't feel any concern with, you know, struggle or panic or whatever it is. And I'm kind of just at this point where I'm just like, still, you know, and, and it's just like, okay, trying to maneuver myself through this uh, change of situation. And it's like, okay, am I, do I feel like doing videos, right? And so I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna do a video today. You know, I'm just sitting out here writing and channeling information for the book. Um, but I really wasn't feeling like doing um, like a reading or anything like that or channeling information or doing any readings, you know, as far as the video goes, but I got the inspiration to go ahead and do it. So I am, right? And so I wanted to kind of pull, I got the inspiration to pull some cards um, and to share the information on the Cardinal. So this is what I got, you know, for the cards. Um, so it, it's quite a bit. Um, I did pull um, a couple cards. Usually I just pull like one or two or three, but um, this one here, Right, is the four of cups right and so um like it kind of shows like person just sitting here contemplating trying to figure out life maybe um meditation and the universe is just bringing um, information in ideas what is it that your heart desires what is it that you want um and it can be just representative are you in receiving of it or are you blocking yourself because he's got his his uh, arms and legs crossed, so that's blocking energy. Um, so are you receiving or are you not the information, right? The energy or whatever the universe is bringing you in this because it's the cups, right? So it's it's love, it's abundance, it's uh, life, it's joy, it's fulfillment, right? And then you get the world, um, the world cut, which is brings change, right? So there's a lot of change going on this month, right? And so where are you? And what is the energies you're bringing with it, right? There's the lion. Um, and then there's uh, the other energies too as well, right? So what is it that your energy bringing into this uh, change period? And then of course, that's going to um, end, right? <laughs> so you're going to become um, aware of the situation, right? So bring in the energies of um, judgment, which doesn't always mean judging somebody or something, but becoming an awareness, right? And so I don't always like the word judgment on this card because it's more about awakening and it coming to you, right? It's like the universe is like, you've had like your pound on the head multiple times and it's like, okay, I need this bugle uh, that he's, he's blowing to really be like, hello, wake up. You know, it's time for a lot of us to wake up and shift and change, right? And so um, there's going to be agreements coming up, right? You're going to have divine agreements coming. So don't worry, right? All is good. You're going to have them, but are you going to accept them? Are you going to make peace with them? Is it going to be a divine love? Um, it could be a relationship, could be a new commitment to a job, could be an arrangement. Um, it could be anything, right? But there's something coming. And so you shouldn't worry about it. And then that's going to um, be the destruction. And then you're going to see a lot of change with that. Everything's going to start falling away of what you had. And so you can't, you don't want to be holding on to any of that stuff. You just want to let it go, right? Because that's destruction. When you have a new agreement, um, your, um, you know, your, your death, right? And so <laughs> you're dying, everything's shedding, everything's being let go, and it's being blown up for a reason, right? But then at the same time, you don't want to go through the illusion, right? Stay present, kind of like what I've been saying, just stay present with everything. And then um, death <laughs> finally comes. And as you're, once you awaken uh, from the illusion and going through all the shedding of everything, letting it go, uh, and not letting yourself go into like a full on you know, a depression or um, suffering, you know, the dark night of the soul, you know, allowing those things to fall away, right? And then um, whatever is left standing, you know, is what you want to look at, right? And so 
you don't have to carry it all. You can give it up. Um, because, and then if we're not really looking, uh, you know, forward and we don't really see what's happening, we can kind of suffer from that. But um, it's like he's holding all, all the sticks in this one. Right. So he has all the potential that he can ever need at this point to move forward. It's just allowing. Um, and then in that, you have your joy. So it's a happy ending, guys. <laughs> uh, just May or June. We're in June here. It's just going to be a little shift, but it's going to end good. Right. So joy and bliss and abundance. Right. And so, again, the message with the cardinal. And it's, it's so funny because it, it's almost like there's a cardinal that she's holding, right? So the Cardinal, <laughs> uh, and this is a great reading to go with what I was just saying and channeling, so it's a confirmation. But abundance, right? Abundance is coming, so don't worry about it, right? And just go. You may struggle through this change, but don't hold tight to it, right? Just allow it to go and express itself and be okay with it. And it, just being okay with it doesn't mean... Um, a lot of people will look at it as like just be okay with it you know if something's been done wrong to you it doesn't mean that it makes it right but it doesn't make it wrong it means it's there for you right and so it's hard to put it into words how to express that because you know of course we don't want something wrong you know things to be done to you that may hurt you but try not to be in that energy and vibration like the judgment of it right and so it's all for you right if you allow it and just move through all right i don't know if that helps if you need any more clarification drop them below if it's helped you uh, to move through this uh, month in june um drop that below like share if you want a personal uh one-to-one -one session let me know we can set something up i do do it online so it's not in person so i can do sessions with anybody anywhere uh through zoom um so if you have zoom you're good. All right. Happy journeys.